CU Denver and the Anschutz Medical Campus is an interesting unit because um, half of our unit is right in the middle of downtown. It's wonderful being an urban campus. We have access to all the urban amenities, everything from restaurant to transportation. We also have the regional hub for medical research and education out of the Anschutz Medical Campus. It's about 10 or 15 miles to the east and uh, it's a state-of-the-art brand new campus, uh, a beautiful place. Uh, so University of Colorado Denver has about 18,000 students in the heart of downtown Denver as well as in Aurora, Colorado. I like being in downtown Denver a lot. It's a very vibrant uh, city. There's a lot going on um, and it really brings a lot of energy to the work we do here. My name is David Thomas. I'm the Director of Academic Technology at the University of Colorado Denver Anschutz Medical Campus. My name is Brendan Getz. I'm a Data Manager within CU Online at the University of Colorado Denver. CU Online as a division has been around for about 20 years. In fact, the University of Colorado Denver was one of the first public universities to offer fully online programs. So we've been at it for quite a while. For a long time, CU Online has had the responsibility to track marketing and performance metrics for online programs and we've done that by running you know lots of data sources from lots of different places into a central data repository and for the most part it worked we were able to answer critical questions and track key metrics unfortunately as time went on I think people began to trust the information less and less they weren't really sure that we were transforming the data correctly um, it, it was, a, it was a, an obscure process, it kind of happened behind the curtain as it was. Also, I think that we were in the, the situation that a lot of people were in, which is we were producing lots and lots of charts, lots and lots of cross tabs, and I think that people were having difficulty digesting the information. One of our biggest problems is uh, sending out PDF reports via email once a week. It doesn't allow people to um, really access and analyze information in a good way. Our organization, like a lot of organizations, really distributed data primarily through PDFs. It's an easy way to secure data. Unfortunately, it discouraged data exploration and sometimes it really didn't actually serve the purpose it was meant to, which is to make sure people understood the data. I wasn't really sure how to bridge the gap between the data and the, and the consumers of the data. Um, I stumbled across Tableau and really on almost a whim went to the Tableau conference. I was looking for an answer and in Tableau I actually found an answer to the question, how do you make data come alive in a user's hands? I, I like to joke I drank the Kool-Aid but really I think that I just joined thousands of other people in understanding that data visualization was a solution to a really tough nut to crack. We did not have Tableau at that time. Um, David went to the conference to kind of see what Tableau was all about. Um, and, and saw Kate and Innerworks and felt like bringing Kate and Innerworks in would be a, a great way to bring Tableau into the university as well um, and help us with our pilot project, which we call the Dean's Dashboard. Sort of on the surface, the project was to get a enrollment dashboard into the hands of the deans of the 13 schools and colleges um, in a manner that would allow them to digest that information a little bit more easily. The dashboard itself is fine. Uh, it's regurgitating a lot of information that we already have. That was the, the surface of the project, but really what we were hoping is that people would see the dashboard and start asking if we could do more. And then um, as a result, we would say, yeah, we can do more. The success of the Dean's dashboard was less in getting the dashboard out and showing it to people. Of course, that was the, the deliverable. The success of the dashboard came later when it got people talking about what they wanted. It's generated interest and excitement. We've been able to use the Business Intelligence Research Project as a, as a essentially like a watering hole to bring together a really diverse set of people to, into a conversation about what it's going to take to build meaningful business intelligence structures and architectures here. The use and fire of Tableau is spreading outside of our department and so it got beyond just CU Online and the Office of Information Technology. It's also enabled people to make some better decisions because they're getting information um, in a uh, displayed in a manner that they can more easily digest and interpret. Working with Innerworks has been great because it's a, it's a young company in a certain sense. It brings a freshness to every project that we bring to them. But I think fundamentally it's a company built on that same kind of agile mythos. It's just, it's not a, it's not a set of principles as much as it's just a mindset. And I love working with people that are just ready every day to change their mind and fix the problem that needs to be fixed. Any big organization rich in data like our own is constantly struggling with the data. Data is hard. Everybody knows that. And what's exciting to me is we've entered a new realm of let's try it. 
as opposed to, no, we can't do that. Working with InnerWorks, Tableau, and XSL has really got us at the University of Colorado Denver working toward becoming a more data-informed organization and helping people make better decisions with our data. And that's just a crazy sound bite, but... <laughs> that was awesome. Realistically, I just want to stop arguing about facts. <laughs>